Hey everyone, so I've been messing around with Pluralsight for a couple of months now, and I just had to share my thoughts with you. In this video, I'm going to talk about how Pluralsight works, what I like about it, some things that bug me, and whether it's worth giving a shot. But hey, if at any point you feel like checking out Pluralsight for yourself, I have dropped a link in the description below. Just click it and you'll get the price available right away. All right, let's dive in. So first things first, what exactly is Pluralsight? Think of it as your personal online learning buddy, especially if you're into tech. They've been around since 2004, started by Aaron Sconard and a bunch of tech pros. Fast forward to today, and they've got a massive library of over 7,000 courses created by 2,500 experts. Now, let's talk about what Pluralsight actually offers. It's all about top-notch training and tech skills. From coding and designing to cybersecurity, they've got something for everyone. But it's not just about watching videos. They offer hands-on labs, skill assessments, and prep courses for certifications. Speaking of hands-on labs, let's dive into that. This feature is a game changer. You get to practice in a cloud setup with easy step-by-step -step instructions. It's perfect if you're a beginner or if you just want to get some practical experience without the usual hassle. There's also Flow, a digital project manager who helps keep track of team progress and smooths out any bumps along the way. So how does Pluralsight actually work? Once you sign up, you get access to their huge library of tech courses. They've got these cool features called skill IQ and role IQ assessments that help figure out where you're at and suggest personalized learning paths. It's like having a roadmap guiding you through courses, often lining up with certificate exams or industry standards. Now let's switch gears and talk about the interface. It's pretty user-friendly, which is great. When you log in, you get a dashboard showing your learning progress, recommended content, and any notifications you might need. The course library is easy to navigate with a handy search bar and filters to help you find exactly what you're looking for. All right, on to pricing. Pluralsight offers a free trial, so you can check it out before you commit. For individuals, there are two plans. The standard plan at $19 per month, which gives you access to a core library of 5,000 courses, and the premium plan at $29 per month, which unlocks the full library of over 7,000 courses, including advanced content and certification exam prep. For teams, there are also two plans. The starter plan at $33.25 per user per month for two to 50 people includes the core library and basic analytics. The professional plan at $48.25 per user per month for two to 50 people offers full access to the entire course library, team level reporting, and more. Now, let me share what I really like about Pluralsight. First off, their course library is like a gold mine for anyone looking to boost their tech skills. With thousands of courses on everything from beginner basics to advanced topics, you're getting knowledge from industry experts that's both engaging and easy to follow. Another feature I like is their hands-on labs. These let you dive in and practice what you've learned in a controlled environment that mirrors real-world scenarios. And let's not forget about their certification prep. Pluralsight offers courses designed to help you ace exams for big names like Microsoft, Kisco, AWS, and more. With hands-on exercises, practice exams, and quizzes, you're set to not only pass the test, but also apply those skills on the job. Of course, no platform is perfect and Pluralsight has its quirks. The website can be a bit confusing at times, especially if you're new to it. It might not always be clear where to start, and some pages can be a bit glitchy. Advanced users might not mind, but beginners might find it a little tricky. Another thing to keep in mind is the variety of each teaching styles. Each instructor has their own way of explaining things, so you might notice differences in how topics are covered. If you prefer a consistent style, this might be a bit of a mixed bag. So, is Pluralsight worth a try? Absolutely, yes. It can help you boost your tech skills in a variety of areas from software development to cloud computing. So if you're ready to give it a shot and level up your tech skills, just click the link in the description below to head over to their website and grab the best deal. And that's it for this video, guys. If you found it helpful, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons for more content like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time.